Hello, YouTube! How you doing, YouTube? You doing well? Just hope you had just hope you had a decent day today, YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Everybody is everybody's happy to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, five matches to go in the league. We are in third, tied for second, a point off fourth, four points off fifth, six points off sixth, and a whopping ten points off Red Bull Salzburg. You're about to see the craziest comeback of all time. <laughs> Also, the story of the headphones. I know you guys are very interested in what happened to the headphones. Uh, the story of the headphones, I uh, they were supposed to be delivered on Saturday. Uh, they, the guy showed up at 7.27 in the morning. I was not awake. Apparently, he didn't have the key to get into the, the like where you drop off the packages, and so he buzzed my room. I, I, I wasn't awake, and so I, I didn't let him in. He then reported that it was impossible to access the delivery location. Because he buzzed me at 7.27 on a Saturday morning. At which point Amazon said that my package was lost. Then I spent 45 minutes on hold with the postal service. Only for them to say, oh, we just redelivered on the next business day. I don't know what Amazon's talking about. It should be there today. We have no idea when it's going to be there. We think it's already out in the field. And that's where we are. Now, in the meantime, in a very interesting turn of events, Amazon, because they thought the package was lost, has purchased me another pair of headphones for free. So I could end up with two headphones in the next 48 hours. So we could go from zero to, to two. But I have no idea. Because Amazon's convinced it's lost, but the U.S. Postal Service says that it's not. And that's why I've got my ear out. So if, if he buzzes again, then uh, if he buzzes again, then I, I'm going to go let, let him in and we'll set it up live. But that's the headphone situation. I mean, none of them are bad, but four? Dude, we did one training today. We did attacking over. We just did recovery for two straight days. I had to put my glasses on just to take them off in abject horror. Four on one training day. Twisted knee, tight calf. Everybody's turning and twisting awkwardly. Yeah, that's the team. All right, that is, uh, that's what we got. That's the team. A result on the road against Wolfsberger would all but guarantee European position going into four matches to play. That's what we need here. Go out there and enjoy yourselves today. That's what we need here. Because that'll remove the uh, the striker from being able to disrupt him, which is what he's doing right now. Oh, flick on. Oh, yeah. Pablo Rodriguez. Good takeaway, good takeaway. Let's build this, or let's just go for it. Asensio's in. Oh, no, he's not. What a terrible couple of touches. There you go. Draw him, get the ball to Brody, get it to Nolan. They don't have the numbers in the midfield if we just pass it to the next open midfielder. Is he on there? Yes, he was. Goal! Let's go, Pablo! Great finish, Pablo. And we've got the lead on the road. Come on, Nick, you're fast. You're definitely faster than this guy. Good work. It's better than a back post cross being wide open. Good save, Jamal. Oh, bad touch. Ridiculously good pass. Yes! Holy smokes, dude. Get in. Julian Brandt! Yeah! Well, aren't you just just out of position against my brilliant tactic? He's gonna shoot. He's gonna he's gonna go all the way. I some reason I thought that ball was going in. 
We on a highlight here? Oh my goodness, it's Pablo. He is on a hat trick in spite of himself. Pablo? Nolan! Oh, Pablo, shoot! Shoot! Shoot the... What is happening? What is happening? Kevin! Julian Brandt! Yeah! Boom! That, I think that did actually win the bet. I don't think it's counting the one goal from the cup. Because we did, we had a bet with Johnny. Um, which, which has been great fun and a source of much angst for me about Pablo Rodriguez being able to score 15 goals in a season. Basically, he needed to score more than that. And we think he the scored Romans 16 now. So the wager was either Johnny gets VIP if Pablo scores 15 or less. If he scores 16 or more, US then Belgium is one of the best <laughs> Johnny gets banned for two weeks. ATM. So uh, will you do the honors? Yeah, I'll I will do the honors. It was a fair question. Oh, Bashir and Le Bashiri and Lima just got suspended. I, I can't even. I can't odd. I can't even. It was a very interesting and fair bet because we, we've had discussions about, well, how important do you think, like, if you want to try and tell what the combination of attributes is, right? Pablo hadn't really scored at any level before we bought him. So I was trusting attributes over my eyes. I don't, like I don't know how to do this. But sir, thank you for, for all you've done for the channel. And we will see you in two weeks. In the name of Pablo Rodriguez. Julian Brandt! Yeah! <laughs> An honorable bet concluded. Oh yeah, we closed down on Pjanic. Not close that down. Narrow defense. Standard there. Don't have prevent on, right? Yeah, no. Counter press. Uh, good. Balanced. Support. Okay. Four matches left. Tied for second. Second place gets Champions League. That is in re uh, like realistically what we're playing for. If we win this match, we're four points off the title with three matches to go, right? But that's a reach. Because even if we play it short, we don't have play out of the back on, which means they're going to be safe with the ball, which means they'll just send it up when they feel uncomfortable at all, which I'm fine with because they'll have four or five people that are literally just drifted forward to try and press us. They'll be, oh my, he's off, I think. Maybe. I don't know if I've ever seen a goal that looked like that on FM, but congrats to that guy for the square of all squares. All right, hopefully we get some complacency out of them early. So last time we played them, we actually really did hang. And most of the times we play them, we really, oh my God. What? That's the best goal I've ever seen. Actually, him looking to attack. Not the worst thing in the world here. Not the worst thing in the world. Evening, Lucky. How you doing, man? There it goes. That was quick. Didn't even make it at halftime, Gabriele. There we go. got to keep the team's head up at this point because we have very important matches coming up. I'm shocked we didn't block this. I mean, we've got so much traffic in front of the goal here. How we let this get through. I mean, he's literally... You know, Javi Vasquez is still on the post. We haven't been carved from the run of play. It's just been these scramble plays we've played like idiots. Oh... So Daniel Beers in a 6.2. I mean, I'm starting my third and fourth center backs in this game. I, we, we couldn't have... This was always a possibility, okay? 
It was always a possibility. I'm just gonna get uh, Asensio's in a 6.1, so we're gonna bring Jurachin in. Thank you. Is that Maximilian Weber? It was. Well, that's, uh, that's a Premier League level player right there. Pick our heads up. We gave up a banger. You know, we gave up a scramble off a set piece. It just, it, was, it wasn't our day. We're playing against a really talented team and it wasn't our day. Forget about with our third and fourth place center, like with our third and fourth center backs, forget about it. We have a very important match coming up. Forget about it. Someday Salzburg will be easy. Yeah. We had no more subs. I don't know what you want. Wow, Rapid Veen came. Oh, they scored a 90th minute winner. <sighs> they played Salzburg yet? I need that guaranteed loss. But I'm actually going to go with Custodio instead because he can play center back, but he offers other options instead of what Brodniak could be offering. And then we have Daniel Beer, Rocky Bashiri, Nick Lee, Mojave Vasquez, Elias Nolan, Schmidt, Owen Vanderhorst, Pablo Rodriguez, Raul Asensio. Uh, we are going to go back to our positive ways. We're going to bring our line forward. We're going to unnarrow ourselves. And we're going to re-narrow ourselves because they are going to be playing excruciatingly narrow. Nice, Asensio. I'll play him. Play wide. Play wide. Yes. Oh, yes. Goal! Julian Brandt. Yeah. with the crank that a goal that very well could send us to the champions league but there is a lot left in this match <sighs> blackman's not been at his best gotta catch that that was a that was a softball Salzburg scored, which is which is good. We're not catching Salzburg, so we want them to just beat everybody, give us a chance to catch up on points because we're done playing Salzburg. We've got this Sturmgratz and uh, Espiated left. I'll get that out of there. Oh my goodness, Nick Lima! Thank you. Okay, a little spacing. Nick can attack. He j oh, good, good, good. What a save. What an outrageously good save. Come on, Raul. Middle. Oh no, if we keep going, Nick Lima's wide open. Or you just go right to him. Oh! Ah! What a goal by Nick Lima! The 19-year-old from Uruguay with a sensational stinger. Oh, what a pass! Pablo hits three! That's right, Raul Asensio with a sensational pass. The guy can't get to it. Pablo Rodriguez tucks it to bed. And it's 3 nothing. Hey, Raul, you gonna be able to... Well, that's just fantastic bit of play from Asensio. Well, let's get our shape. Or we just go for it. Oh my god, again! Nick Lima again! on Schmidt. Yes, we take the ball away. We've got one-on-ones across the back line. All the time. Oh, yes, Anderson. Asensio! How does the man in the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. <laughs> We'd heard it before, S. Latte, but if you haven't... Oh, that's a penalty. Rap. Hey. Rap. 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 And here we go with my boy. Get ready. Everybody get ready. <sighs> oh, no. Shoot. Never mind.
annoying we gave up that goal late, but you know, the red card and everything, all that's unfortunate. We're gonna miss Nick Lima for the next match. That's unfortunate, but yeah, what a win. You made the doubters eat their words. Uh, Nick Lima dropped to 7.5, even with a straight red card with five minutes to go. So that was sick and we missed a penalty. So that was sick. But uh, we are two goals and goal difference behind Rapid Veen. We are level with them on points with two matches to go, one of which I believe they have to play Salzburg. So we have won our last three matches, not against Salzburg, including both against Rapid Veen to close in on that Champions League spot. This is what it's all about right here. All about. Please, they, they play Salzburg. I know they play. I know it in my heart that they play Salzburg. I know it. Yes. They still have Salzburg to go. Bless. Bless. Yes. No. Good news followed by bad news. You've criticized my lack of development too much. I don't like you. You're annoying. You complain about stuff. You get worse. Vince, I, I've, I've, I've appeased you, but I don't like you. Caleb Spear, probably not. Honestly, he passed his fitness test and he's available for 60%, which is insane. I didn't think he was going to be back this quickly. So super happy that Caleb Spear is, is back and around. I feel uncomfortable playing him because that is really faster than he should have been back. But I am going to have him on the bench. We're going to get... Oh, apparently, we haven't beaten SV Red in three matches. Ladies and gentlemen, two matches to go. We are tied in points for the Champions League spot. Rapid Vienna is playing Salzburg. We are playing at home against SV Red. If we can get three points here. This is what it's what it's all about. Pablo, slippery ball for Capani. Back to Pablo Rodriguez. This is not pretty, but it might work. Do you oh, do hello YouTube. Is that noir? Yeah. <laughs> Miller, happy Valentine's Day, my dude. Asensio. Pablo, touch and shoot. It's gonna it's always gonna be tough to keep that separation. Oh, yes, Owen. Beautiful. Javi. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh. Get on this. On this ball. Thank God they don't have somebody at the back post. They just have a dude right in front of the goal. That's cool. I love throwing so much. That was, that was frustrating. Bashiri just had to step up and close that down. At least he won that header. All right, Capani. There's the angle ball, Pablo Rodriguez. Thank you. Thank you very much. You need bronze. Yeah. <laughs> yes, into the middle, Owen. Yes, Capani. Good step. Angle ball again. Nope. Raul. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 We absolutely deserved it. My boy, Raul. Ooh, ooh. My boy. Finally get to hear the Raouls again. Oh, Owen. Oh, no. If he cut the other way, he had that. But the pass. Get in. Oh, he, how? Like, I know. I know Capani was offside. But Asensio missed that. Oh, dude, get in. What? Oh, no, it got blocked. What is this match? I'll take that free kick, but... Wow. Capani, I like that. Brody, yes. Yes. He's got to be wider there. You know, nice goal. Nice goal by my boy Paul Nolan. Paul Nolan's like, you know what? I actually think I can just bean this right into the bottom corner. And he just <laughs> snipes it into the bottom corner. Like, all right, cool. Nice work. There we go. We got the job done. We finally beat SV at Ed. 
Very, very well done today. We are in second with one match to go. Unless there is some late scoring drama that I didn't see. We are in second with one match to go. Oh, right. they lost. Oh my God, they lost. Oh my. Boys, 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 boys. You live Brandt. Yeah. Behold, a virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Dorfer, which means Zia with us. They lost in an 83rd minute goal by Diamande. We are three points clear. And plus one on the goal difference. Which means if we lose by one and they win by one, it still doesn't matter. So the goal difference doesn't matter at all now. But we do have the lead in that. And, and that's a very important moral victory. Oh boy, Kapani. They couldn't deal with you. He was unplayable. Absolutely unplayable. And I'm going to drop Daniel Beer to be able to get Anderson in. Uh, now we already have two injured guys in the lineup. I'm not going to make it three by putting Anderson out there too. I don't want to have to deal with like multiple disasters. I mean, we continue to play narrow. Because it looks like they're going to come out and try and out-narrow us. And I, I you know, Zeal you can't out-narrow Zeeland Shannon. You can't do it. Look at the Fock Plots! A beautiful day at the Fock Plots to try and get us back into Champions League. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah. Nick Lima. I mean... Was it a foul? Was it not a foul? Kind of looked like it. A lot of contact there. Uh, we're inside the 18. Man, I don't know about that. Oh, Kapani! <sighs> hey, Zia, what do you call a business that makes mediocre products? Sensio? Satisfactory. Why mediocre, though? Wouldn't it be like they make okay products because they're satisfactory? Well, thanks for the six months. Yeah! What a goal! Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. Kapani. Oh, yes. Nolan! What a save. A lot of jazz hands. Not quite sure why. That's a foul on Bashiri. All right. That's cool. It's all right. He, he had the determination to stab home an early goal. Off a corner. He's going to score another one here. Bashiri hat trick incoming. Or Asensio. Like, that oh, works. Let's go! Give it to me one more time. Julian Brandt! Yeah! <laughs> All right. What's IL telling me from the dugout? They've changed their approach to go more attacking. I don't think that's going to help their set piece defense. Because it's shambolic right now. I'm going to be honest. We almost scored a third. Still relying on broken corners. Dude, they nerfed near post corners. I'm just that good. I don't know what to tell you. That was the... Those were actually the first two corner goals we scored all stream. And you boys won every game except for Salzburg. You come with the king, you best not miss. Okay, Jonesy. No way. Raph, no. Raph, hey, Raph. hey! This isn't American football, okay? You can't do that. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Come on. Send us to the Champions League. What up? Raul Asensio. Oh, we switched him from a from a bad winger to becoming a really important part of our team. It's Pablo. That checks out. KZ. My friend claims that he accidentally glued himself to his autobiography, but I don't believe him. But that's his story and he's sticking to it. I was the I assumed it was our highlight and I looked away. How was did we was this a pass from us? Was this like a big mistake? Oh, yes, it was. Javi is... Get off the field. Get off the field. I'm done. I'm done. You're probably never going to play here again. Get it. Just get off the field. Just leave. Just leave. I'm done.
We need a new right back. Diakovic and Javi Vasquez survived this season. And Javi obviously was capable of great moments, but by and large, wasn't good enough. What a stupid pass. That was so good. I mean, oh my God. Oh, this pass from Raul. And then Pablo gets around the goalkeeper. Tidy finish. Reports of our demise, greatly exaggerated. I'll tell you that right now. Greatly exaggerated. We played some lovely stuff. We absolutely played some lovely stuff. We needed to as well because Rapid Veen went behind 1-0 and came back and won. We needed a point. We got all three. We did it in style. Raul Asensio with two goals and a sparkling assist. Champions League, the season in review. Ooh, ooh. All right, what do we got? A beautiful season for Florence Dorfer. The board are disappointed with the deal to sign Vince Prodi. We were pleased the player agreed to a lower salary, but we would have expected to pay someone of his ability. Uh, okay. You don't like the deal to sign Vince Brody. Uh, he did start 17 matches in our... Oh, that freaked me out. That was the league table. <laughs> this is the league table going into the championship group to give you an idea of the size of the task that we overcame. Order delighted we finished the top two places. The board expectation apparently upgraded to mid-table when it was initially avoid relegation. Our 5-3 win in the Europa League was the match to remember. Biggest win was in the cup. And the goal of the season was none other than the one that you saw today from my boy Nick Lima. A Benjamin Pavard-esque strike from our fullback. Only Swaglord, thank you for the 11 months as part of the Hammers, my dude. Uh, you know, it's just what we drew up. It's what we were dreaming about, and uh, it's it's a, it's a baby back banger right there. I mean, look at this. Look at the angle. You know, look at the execution. I mean, oh, just obliterates this ball. You know, obliterates it. One touch, strikes it. Just a rope, end over end, a rope into the top corner from Nicholas Lima for the goal of the season. And there were a few candidates, if I remember, but that I mean, it's hard to argue with that one. And a big competition prize money bonus because we were in the Champions League, Europa League group stage, finished third there, went down to the Conference League knockouts, all fun stuff. Uh, so our reputation has not changed much this past season. I find that hard to believe, but we haven't hit the end of year reload thing. So the, top, the best 11 was Rodriguez, Asensio, Vanderhorst, Schmidt, Kuhn, Brody, Javi, so I didn't really adapt to putting Nolan in the best 11, which is weird to me. Uh, we, I did win coach of the year from last year. 
And I was Austrian Sports Magazine Coach of the Year. I wonder if I'll win it again, because those awards are from like last year's stuff. Fans player of the season, Rocky Bashiri. Young player of the season, Caleb Spear, which I agree with. He, he got his full-time starting job. The fan signing of the season goes to Vince Brody, and the board hates it. Uh, Nick Lima had the goal of the year. Top goal scorer was Pablo. Ended up with 20 first-team goals and 11 assists. I mean, wow. we signed him to be an upgrade on Nick Vainema, and he was just a tremendous overall player. <coughs> tremendous overall player. I mean, what a first year at a club. You lead him in goals and assists, 31 goal contributions over the course of the season. Tremendous. We always believed in the Real Madrid Academy product, and he's come good here now. Player of the match awards to Bashiri, highest average rating to Bashiri, and most passes completed per 90 was actually Custodio, but then he broke something and was out like the second half of the year. Most shutouts, oh, a lot of records. Okay, Blackman had 14 clean sheets this year. That's a club record. Uh, the player of the match uh, award for Rocky Bashiri, six that's a record he also had the worst discipline with 13 yellows and two red cards thanks uh most league goals by a player overall in a career deservingly going to jao Oliveira with 55 league goals for the club what a player the youngest ever player martin yanov highest transfer fee paid 500,000 up front for boyan brodniak and highest fee received, we got $3 million for Akos Keskis, who we then finished ahead of in the league. And the youngest goal scorer, Lucas Peer, just over 17 years of age. So lots of fun records being broken. Oh, my head was in the way. Well, I'm very glad that I read it. <laughs> who got into the... Uh, my, my Professional streamer. Ladies and gentlemen, professional streamer. Following the play, so six players, Bashiri's into the overall best 11, but Asensio, Pablo, Javi Vasquez, against anybody's better judgment, Paul Nolan and Caleb Spear, are all in to the overall best 11, which, you know, fun for them. No way. No way. There's no way that they just didn't give me any boost at all. We're gonna have to do it ourselves, chat. We have a very unambitious board, dude. We just like upped our income by like 700% last year and we're on track to do it again. And the board's like, well, you know, Cadiz looks nice this time of year. How about a vacation? 